It's going to be hard to look at Corporal Sanchez's family and, and be able to explain why. Marine Corporal Humberto Sanchez's name will be added to a Fallen Heroes Memorial in Westfield this weekend. Corporal Sanchez was one of 13 American service members killed in the attack at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan back in August. News 8's Debbie Johnson is live for us in our newsroom. And Debbie, his name will be the last added to that memorial. Yeah, that's because as we know, the 20-year war is now over. A Marine who is also a city councilor in Westfield tells me the event is truly bittersweet. In front of a house in Westfield, there's a sacred site that honors hundreds of Hoosier heroes. It was founded in 2001 by uh, Command Sergeant Major Donald Peed, who actually lived here. On each plaque are the names of Indiana service members who fought and died during Operation Enduring Freedom, the war in the Middle East that started after 9-11. Soon, Corporal Humberto Sanchez from Logansport will have a stone to honor his legacy. It's significant because um, you know, this will be the last one. We're closing the memorial down. It'll always be open to the public, but there'll be no uh, other service member uh, entered into this uh, memorial. Westfield City Councilor Scott Willis also goes by Colonel Scott Willis. For him, the dedication is devastating. It's a bitter pill to swallow. And uh, I know for those of us that uh, have served overseas, especially the Marines I'm serving with currently that went to Afghanistan, it's left a real hole. In, the, in their belly, quite frankly. He didn't know Corporal Sanchez, but from now on, Willis will make sure others do. They were trying to get him out of the gate. Um, he refused to go because he knew there were some women and children in the area that were at risk. They knew there was a threat, and he stayed. And you know what? He held his ground, and, and he paid the ultimate sacrifice. And in doing so, he saved lives. And, and for that, I'm incredibly proud of him. Come Saturday, he hopes to hear more of those stories. And even though the war is over, he's confident Westfield will always remember. The community is just amazing. Westfield is an amazing place to live, and people are rallying. I got a feeling it'll probably be a really good turnout. The dedication is happening Saturday at the memorial site on Union Street. The city will shut the street down at 1.30 and the event begins at 3. The public is invited to join. Live in the newsroom, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, WishTV.com and follow us on Facebook.